Good day, Mr. Bill here. Uh, this video is a video response to Tom Cosm's video on uh, doing absolute tempo change automations. And uh, basically, what he's done is he goes to use uh, tempo automation on the master. He sets a point. I'll just put a tune in here just to show you. Uh, just find the drop. I think that's the drop there. I'll just turn it down a bit because it's a little bit loud in my headphones. So it's 120 BPM. Let's say I play it 120 BPM up until here and then at this point I want it to turn into 130 BPM. I'll just put it onto re-pitch warping mode so it doesn't go off funny. And um, <clears throat> then what I'll do is I'll change the tempo to 130, put my record on, have my punch insert. <laughs> And you can see it's just recorded the the tempo change after that punching point. But the way I like to go about it is um by creating basically a, a clip of silence. So I'll just do that quickly. Oops. There we go. It wouldn't record over here because I have my punching point set. So I'll just turn that off. And then basically what I like to do with this clip of silence, I'll just put a loop point around it so it keeps playing. And then I'll use sort of a dummy clip method to set the tempos that I want to change from. So here underneath where it says warp, you might see it says slave. So if you click on it, it'll turn into master and then you see the master tempo sort of uh, grays out. It doesn't let you touch it anymore. And um, then basically this segment BPM here is where you set your BPM. So you'll see up here it's grayed out also. The tap tempo and everything is, is pretty much useless. So I'll click on um, 120 BPM for this one. And you see it's set it there. As I move this, you can see it, it moves the tempo down the bottom here. So um, I'll just do 120 BPM. Oh, whoops, that's 130. 129, sorry. So I'll go 120. And then this next one, I'll go 130. Hold up. This one's 130. Next one can be 140. Next one can be 150, etc. etc. That's just my way that I like to do it. Basically, you have a, a dummy clip that just controls the tempo for you, and then, yeah, basically, you can just go nuts with the clip mashing rather than worrying about having to draw it all in by hand. And these are absolute values, which are kind of hard to automate. They always go to decimal points and stuff, so just have a a track maybe called Tempo Controls, have just empty clips in there and just go nuts with it. So yeah, um, yeah, hopefully you can find some cool uses for that. Uh, I do it a little bit in my live sets and it's kind of fun thing to do if you get bored of mashing other clips, you can just start mashing clips that deal with tempo operations. So yeah, thanks for listening, take care, uh, visit mrbillstunes.com, I'm actually doing one-on-one -on -one tuition now, so if you're keen to get into that, then yeah, have a gaze, sweet, take it easy.